Oi, oi, mo blissy. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to teach you how to RNG abuse the roaming legendaries in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Um, I kind of put off on this video for a little while because it's they're such a pain to do, but it is ultimately worth it. I think all three roamers are a pretty good Pokemon in either game. Raikou isn't the most relevant Pokemon, but he's he's okay in OU if you build around him. Uh, Entei, again, a very good UU Pokemon and usable in OU, and then the last one is the Latios or Latias, both uh, fairly strong in OU, I think, especially Latios, he's very good. Um, so, the tools you'll need for this is a bit different. Uh, you're gonna def you have to have two chatters, uh, you pretty much, as usual. You're gonna need a team of strong Pokemon in order to beat the Elite Four round two, because you need to beat the Elite Four in order to RNG abuse the roamers. Uh, you won't need a sweet center, I just have the stupid bell with me. Um, you don't need uh, Elm or Erwin registered in your Pokegear. You cannot use calls in uh, in this RNG, so you have to have a chat up to advance the frame. Um, and the reason you need a strong team is because the way this RNG abuse works is you find the roamer you want, you KO the roamer, then you go to the Elite Four and save before beating Lance. And then once you beat Lance, that's when the game uh, generates the new Pokemon, and all your advancements are done right before you fight Lance. Um, so that's why you need a strong team, because it's going to be round two. Um, aside from that, oh, the other main thing you're going to need is, um, I suggest having at least one roamer alive. And th this is good because you can RNG abuse all the roamers this way, so let's go into my poker grief, for example. Uh, so Entei's right up here, that's cool. Uh, so the thing is, I want to RNG abuse Entei, right? thing is I've already RNG abused Raikou so what I can do is so what I did was I had all three roamers I KO'd Raikou none of them were RNG abused then I RNG abused Raikou then so he spawned I caught him and the game saves after you beat Lance right so I caught him and confirmed my seed was correct so Raikou had everything correct about him then I turned the game off and turned it back on so Raikou's IVs and nature and stats don't change every time you turn the game on and off they're set so you can keep him alive and then just catch all three of them later. The thing is, uh, I wanted to use Latias straight away uh, because I think it was I was very it was good at the time. Latia, Mega Latias specifically is very strong, so I did catch it and send it up already. But the same still applies. So all I have to do is kill Ente. Hopefully he goes to this route. I might have taken too long. Let's check. He went up anyway. That sucks. So yeah, all you gotta do is uh, KO the Pokemon. Where is he? Frick, he just jumped. Uh, it was going to take a while. Uh, yeah, basically, you have to find and KO him, which is easier than a lot of people make it sound. Basically, all you do is run back and forth in Cherry Grove. <laughs> and then, uh, look, there he is. <laughs> so, I would normally suggest a repel uh, as the way to use this here, but the thing is. I don't have cut. The thing about repels is um, they stop any Pokemon, so. My Pokemon are much too high of a level, so I'm going to try and catch this Entei here. So I can't use a Repel to find him. Oh, there's Entei. That's good. So here's my Entei. So it seems strange, but you want to knock it out. It's going to take a while because of Gen 4 health bars. <laughs> I crit him. There goes Entei. Rest in peace, dude. So now once that's done, if you, you check the Pokegear, I just have Raikou left. And Raikou is what I will be using to verify uh, my seed, because you can't call Elm or Erwin in a building. It doesn't work. Alright, so with that out of the way, we're going to fly to the Elite Four. And don't worry, I'm not going to make you watch me fight the Elite Four. I mean, no one's watching me anyway, but like, you have to beat the Elite Four. So make sure before you go in, you have your two chat outs with you because they're mandatory. Aside from that, take whoever you need to beat the Elite Four. Alright. Talk to this guy and let, let's go. So, before I step into the Elite Four, we're going to do all of the... Um, uh, all of the RG reporter methods and stuff like that. Actually, you know what, I'm going to beat the Elite Four first and then I'll meet you guys. I'll meet you guys back and we'll do everything involving uh, RNG Reporter. So, this will take like 15 minutes. Okay, 
So once you have beaten the Elite Four and gotten up to Lance, you're going to walk into the exact spot I'm in and you're going to want to save. Um, so <clears throat> from here, you're going to go into RNG Reporter. You're going to go into Time Finder, 4th Gen Time Finder. Uh, 2016, 490, not 10,000. You're gonna make this like 3,000. Minimum frame uh, one, maximum frame should be like 200. And then uh, for the stats, I'm going for an Entei here. So I'm going like this. Everything except special attack because Entei is mostly physical. Uh, any ability, nature. Um, um, I'm thinking adamant. It's probably best. 100 speed isn't fast enough anymore, unfortunately. Um, then here, they don't have different abilities, again, so you can't pick that. They don't have genders. Uh, this is what you would do if you wanted to make them shiny. Uh, I'm not going for a shiny Entei. They are all Method 1 Pokemon in this game, so we're going we're gonna to check Method 1 off. Then you hit Generate, and you should get some results. So what do we got here? Well... This is looking like the one to go with because it is not an obscenely high frame. So that's cool. So you're going to right click, hit copy seat to clipboard. And now you guys can hit this exact frame on your own game as well, by the way. So then once we're done here, we're going to go into the main window and I'm going to paste the seed here and we're just going to hit generate. It should be frame 40 something. Yep, here it is. Here is the end day we're going to be getting, hopefully. You're going to want to stop on the frame beforehand. All right, so with that out of the way, we're going to go into fourth gen tools and we're gonna go into seat to time. I'm gonna check heart gold of silver and we're gonna paste. Uh, now I have one roamer out, so I'm gonna check what it is. Where the hell is Raikou at? He's on route 33. So we're going to save, so we're going to check Raikou off and we're going to do 33. If you have more roamers, you check them off and tell where they are, otherwise you do not. So then you're going to hit generate, hit generate, and uh, again, I'm lucky it's an odd delay, that's awesome. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to turn this off, turn it back on. Go into the bag, not the bag, the um... The, the time setting, so it's 4-28-2016, and then it's 11-59-23, uh, so 11-59-23, so we're going to go here, so we're going to leave this, uh, this if you have calibrated your delay before, you will leave the same, target delay is 2-7-8-8, target settings is 23. So now it says minutes before target is 1. As you can see, it's 11.59, 11.59. Minutes before target being 1 means we make this 11.58. Then we start. Okay. So one of the important things to note here is um, the delays. I talk about it every video, and I'm going to talk about it again. Uh, you cannot change the delay unless you have a GBA, a Pokemon game, or you change the year. So every game only hits the same, an even or an odd delay every single time. And the only way to change it is to change the year ahead or before, uh, behind by one. The only other way to change it is if you put a GBA game that is compatible with the PAL Park in your GBA slot of your DS. And for DSi or 3DS users, that means the only way to change your delay is um, by uh, changing the year. So like an example of this is, I'm going for delay 2788. Let's say I didn't do any caliber, I didn't figure out what my delay was, right? So I turn my DS on and I hit 2789. That means I will 100% of the time hit an odd number. The only way to change this is if I put a GBA game in the bottom slot that is compatible with the PAL park, so Ruby Sapphire, Emerald, Fire Red, or Leaf Green, and it has to be from the same region, or if I change this year, 2016 to 2015 or 2017, it would be a different delay. So here we go. Two, three, four, five, six. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to mash the uh, Pokegear. We have to check Raikou. He is on Route 45, which is looking like it, it can't be this one because 
Oh, it's this one. So we were very, very close. We barely, barely missed this. And again, there's no, you can't call anybody from in here. So like, watch, if I try to call Youngster Joey. Yeah, so there's no, you can't call anybody from here. So it sucks, but that's how it works. So we're just gonna have to try again. It's no big deal. That's how this goes. So we were so close in delays. We were only one away, right? I'm not gonna change anything about um, how I did that. So I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna meet you guys at the uh, file select so you don't have to wait through all of this. Okay, as you can see, this is getting pretty low. So, <clears throat> gonna check our thing again. Oh, he's in a different spot, but I don't think he's there. Is this 31? 34. 34. This can't be. That can't be 34 because it. The reason it cannot be 34 is because that would be an odd delay, and I, I can't hit odd delays. I only hit even delays, so I must be. It could be this one. Again, I'm very close, so I just have to keep trying. <clears throat> so again, we're gonna. Again, you just gotta retry. This is something I kind of hope for in most of my videos, even though the last few I actually didn't get it in. Is I hope for things to mess up like this. Uh, because it just shows how, uh, like how not perfect things are gonna go, and I like to show the solutions to like what you deal with. And when you're this close to your delay, when you're one or two away from your delay, there's there's no reason to change anything in Eon Timer like you normally would. Okay, and I'm gonna pause this here for you guys. Okay, we're getting close again. All right. Let's go ahead and hopefully we hit it this time. Uh, looks like we hit it. So Raikou's on 31. So that means we scroll over to here. So we should be on a uh, like a high or a mid high. We'll, we'll figure it out in a second. So go to your chat outs and listen to the chatter cries. So it's high. So we're on low here. This is where we're on. Oh. Oh wait, I got lost. Oh here, I'm back on track, sorry. And you can hear it line up with the pitch, so this should be a mid-high. Now this should be low. This should be really low. This should be really, really high. So now what we have to do is get to frame 40, because I believe the intel we want is on 41. So this is where we are, we're on 40, if you, you can match the pitch up, and the next frame is 41. So now all we do, since we're done with our advances, is we go and we fight Lance. Take one step forward and fight him. And hope we didn't screw everything up horribly. Because if we messed everything up, we beat the Elite Four again. So I will pause this so you don't have to watch the battle. Nothing special is done here until we beat the game. Okay, so here is where the game is saving. And you can turn it off right after this is done saving. This is why it's a pain in the ass, because if you messed up your RNG, this save means you have to go back and beat the Elite Four again. So, once the credits start rolling, turn it right off. And <laughs> now all you gotta do is catch the Entei, so let's go over here. All right. <clears throat> so start the game. Get over here. And we're gonna fly to Cherry Grove. I know it's not that far of a walk, but whatever. Ah, oh, so. What I'm going to do is deposit one guy so I can so I don't have to do this step later. Go to Weaving Bell. Get out of there. Alright, and 
now we just have to catch the Entei, which is a pain. So what we're going to do is we're going to check here, find out where this guy is. It is not too far, that's not bad. Right, so we're just going to go through a few times. Where is he? He's getting closer, he's getting closer. So what we're going to do is if you see where he is, he could end up on like this route over here. Nope. This will take a little while, but that was oh, just a bag. That was a little risky to do that, but we'll see. Yep, he's gone. Don't worry though. This isn't too hard, like I said. Oh. So wait, where is he now? Oh, he jumped. Are you serious? Where are you at, Ente? Are they both on this route? And this is not one of them. I have two legendary beasts on this route, and it's not one of them here. Alright, so we're gonna. You run. Come on, dude, what the heck? I presume they're more up here. Alright, please be Entei and not Raikou. Oh, excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Alright, so we're gonna go Pokeballs. And we're just gonna try to figure out what would be a stylistically good one for Entei. A level ball would look good on Entei, but I'm gonna throw Master Ball first. Because I don't necessarily have to say, I intend to catch like Raikou and a fastball and stuff like that. Okay. So if this Entei is adamant, it's probably the one we're looking for. As you can see, there's no adamants near it. And we know we hit the seed and advanced to the calm. However, um, if this is not the Entei... Okay, we're... You know. So check this out. So we're going to go to Entei. Let's see what we got here. Alright, adamant nature. Excellent. So this is probably the Entei, but as usual, we're going to double check with the... Uh, the man of the battle frontier. And so now, with this Entei, you do not have to keep, let's say you have an RNG to anyone else besides this Entei. Once you caught him here, verified that this is the correct Entei, turn your game off. Don't save, once you catch him, just turn the game off. Turn it back on, this same Entei is still there. It's still running around. You can kill and then RN use him to RNG, another uh, to RNG abuse another Pokemon. It's pretty handy. And once you've uh, manipulated all three roaming legendaries, then, um, then you can just uh, do every manipulation you want in the game. And then once you're done, uh, you can catch them. So let's check out the Dante here. Although, in my opinion, <laughs> it's probably better just to leave uh, Dante in this game. Right, as you can see, all perfect stats. Now, if you ever want to go back to it again, it's probably best to just leave like, the game again to RNG breed, or, you know, because this is pretty much like the place where half the defoggers are going to be bred. So, uh, my suggestion in how to deal with that is either... So, for example, I could use a cheating device to respawn them and just use them as my markers, or I could use a... Um, saving device to extract the save file and then like send them up and keep them here just to verify you know anyway um that's it i'm turning it off because i'm gonna catch ante in a different ball but thanks everybody for watching if this was helpful to you uh please subscribe and drop a like if you have any comments uh, or questions leave them in the comments thanks for watching guys i'll see you next time that's much for into a, it to be able to take uh, uh, special hits safely that, like, uh, uh, so he's gonna earthquake again Again, doesn't do much. I decide I have to kill it. Stalling it at this point isn't worth it, and he's going to go back into uh, the Vaporeon, and I just...